So last night I experienced two things that I think so many of us with ostomies really fear happening. And that was odor coming from my ostomy and a leak. Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today and I gotta tell you, this morning could have looked a lot worse than it actually wound up being because of one simple product that I used. Ironically enough, this company reached out to partner on a video showing how I use it throughout my daily life and I really can't think of a better time to show how it works when Leroy, my ostomy, decides he's gonna misbehave. So thank you so much for playing the part today, Leroy. I'm really excited to tell you guys that I'm partnering with Stoma Cloak again. This is an ostomy cover that I have been using for the last couple of years now, and it has been by my side, well, literally on my side, for some really important events in my life. Uh, it actually came with me to Texas on our road trip this past summer. I've used it on nights out where I'm wearing tight clothing. Um, I've even used it during intimate moments. Those of us living with stomas have to deal with certain things like leaks and odor and skin irritation that the general population just doesn't have to deal with. And if there's a product out there that I personally find effective to deal with any or all of this, I want to share it with you guys. So I just couldn't be happier to be partnering with Stoma Cloak again. Um, I think our first step for today with my misbehaving ostomy bag is to change it. And I'm going to show you how it leaked. Um, I had a little bit of time before I needed to change it. So that's why I'm sitting here talking to you. But um, I'm going to show you exactly how it leaked and how the Stoma Cloak Save me. Okay, so last night I started to notice some odor coming from my ostomy bag and that just makes me feel super self-conscious because I'm wondering if anybody else notices it. But um, yeah, I had barely had my ostomy bag on for two days at that point and I decided let's try just switching out the bag. I wear a two-piece system, let's unclip the old bag, put on a new one, see if it makes a difference. Well, it didn't. So then I have to decide, do I peel this bag that's sticking really well, it feels really good, do I peel that off of my skin, potentially damaging it, and uh, put on a whole new system hoping for the best, or do I try something different? And that's how I wound up wearing my Stoma Cloak Thank goodness. Not only is the Stoma Cloak an ostomy pouch cover, but it helps to eliminate odors. I have been using it for two years uh, to do that, to do exactly that, because I noticed with the system that I use that sometimes the older it gets, there's a little bit of odor to it, okay? It's very embarrassing for me, but uh, yeah, I will put the Stoma Cloak on and immediately you can't smell anything. So I put it on before bed to reduce the odor. I mean, it got rid of it completely so I could at least sleep with myself, but what I experienced overnight really made me glad that I was wearing it because I experienced a leak between the ring of my flange and the ring of the bag. Sometimes where these two click together, I will experience leaking, especially if my output is more watery. And since I'm fighting off a cold right now, my output's watery. I am so grateful that I did this because normally this would leak all over my skin and my pants and sometimes onto my precious heating pad, but because I was wearing the Stoma Cloak, it caught it. I love that the Stoma Cloak works with a variety of brands as well. Um, I tend to try out different types of ostomy bags and um, there are two main brands that I stick with when actively wearing an ostomy bag, like on the day to day. Uh, not just when I'm videoing myself. And the Stoma Cloak works for both of them. And it also works with Coloplast, who has a little bit more of a uh, wider belt if you wear a belt with your ostomy bag, which the belt loops for these ostomy flanges actually sit underneath of the Stoma Cloak. So there's little openings on the side to allow the belt to go through. So now the Stoma Cloak has wider openings to allow the Coloplast belt to go through. Anyways, many of you know that I am a little 
little unusual with how I do my ostomy care, and I use a non-drainable with an ileostomy, but I wanna show you how easy it is for both a non-drainable bag as well as a drainable. The Stoma Cloak is actually designed so you can empty it and never have to remove it, but it's so easy to put on and remove that for me as a non-drainable lady, <laughs> It's so easy to remove it when I have to empty and throw it back on. So I'll show you both of those today. That's how quick it was to take it off. Step number one is to always protect our clothing. <laughs> I clean my skin, I've prepped my skin, I'm just waiting for it to dry now, but typically I would go for the non-drainable like I said, but I'm going to put on the drainable so you can see how easy it is to drain with the Stoma Cloak on. Get a little fanning action in here. All right, let's put on the Stoma Cloak. It is super easy. Did I already leak on this one? <gasps> so I wanted to capture all of my Stoma Cloaks on video to show you. And so I put this one on just for a couple seconds. It was freshly washed. Put it on for maybe 30 seconds, not realizing that my bag was still continuing to leak. And um, yeah, it saved me again, so I have the proof. All right, so we'll get a fresh one on instead. I was gonna wear that one, but um, not now, we're gonna throw it into the wash. And that's the great thing is that you can throw it into the wash on high heat and then dry it on high heat. It's good for up to 40 cycles in your laundry, which I love because that's how I wash most of my clothing and it's super simple. Just throw it in with everything else. And um, yeah, I like to make sure that my ostomy bag is flat inside of the Stoma Cloak. So that's what I'm doing right now making sure that the tail is at the very bottom there where there's an opening. So that way you can just empty right out of there. You can also fold up the bottom of the Stoma Cloak if you don't want your end exposed. That's another thing that I have a lot of issues with, the reason that I wear non-drainables. I tend not to be able to get the end of a Velcro bag completely clean. Um, I think it's just because sometimes I have watery output and it seeps through no matter how tight I get it. Um, and the end will leak on my clothing. This is another way, this is another thing that it'll prevent. So yes, my ostomy is all settled in there. I'm gonna tuck it in, and I love that this just sits so nice and flat. You can't see it, it's great. <laughs> and it is so comfortable, I do not notice it on my ostomy bag whatsoever. Uh, it does have structure, so it holds its shape, but it's not so structured that it's uncomfortable. I have worn ostomy covers that really do hold the shape, but they feel so stiff, almost like they're starched. Um, and I really don't like that feeling. So these are so soft, so comfortable, yet they'll hold their shape and not flop over and then up here under your clothing. All right, I am having a little snack here while I get some work done on the computer. And I gotta say, I'm feeling some gurgling, so I don't think it'll be long before we have some demonstration abilities. Uh, <laughs> but I wanted to tell you about my other favorite feature of the Stoma Cloak, and that is the moisture wicking. That is basically the reason I brought it to Texas with us. Along with the fact that it's my first defense against leaks, which was great for all the hotel rooms we were in, just in case with the bed sheets, <laughs> and uh, you know, the ability to eliminate odors, I was worried about how hot it would be because it's summer in Texas. We took a road trip down there and we hit a lot of hot places. I think the place that I used it the most was Savannah, Georgia. It was so humid there. And I was really worried about my skin, especially around my ostomy appliance. If I was sweating and it was sticking in the fabric of my bag and the flange, what is that gonna do to my skin? So the Stoma Cloak was really great at wicking that moisture away, keeping it off of my skin, so that way I didn't have any issues with my skin like breakdown or um, you know, fungal infections, which can be a problem. I really like it for when I'm out of my normal environment where you know things might be different if I'm traveling, if I'm going out for the evening to a restaurant, and I just want a little extra security, a little more protection for my outfit uh, and my surroundings. 
The Stoma Cloak is great for that. So tonight, I am going to be wearing their double-layered Stoma Cloak uh, called Nodor. I feel like I said that very fancy, but the Nodor uses a double layer of the Stoma Cloak fabric, so it's extra protection, and uh, it's definitely going to be great for tonight just to make sure that this new Ostomy appliance is clicking together well, um, and of course I want to protect my heating pad, so it'll be great for that. All right, let me continue eating my little snack here, and uh, when it's time to empty, we'll meet in the bathroom. Back in the bathroom again. It did not take long for my ostomy to start to fill up. Um, I'm going to spare you having to see my output, but I am going to get closer to my ostomy so I can show you exactly how I expose the end of the ostomy bag to empty it while still wearing the stoma cloak. This is super easy. All I do is unfold the end there, untuck it, and roll up the stoma cloak so that way the end of my ostomy bag is exposed. Then I can empty like normal, clean up the end, place it right back into the stoma cloak, make sure that it's facing downwards and nice and flat there, and fold over the bottom. I love this. You can probably tell that it's a bit darker in here as the sun sets and we head into the evening. I'm really grateful that I have this guy. This is gonna be put on right before bed, so I know that I'm protected like I was last night. Thank goodness, what a coincidence. I put it on for the odor, it protected for a leak. And then again today with my regular Stoma Cloak, the other one that I showed you, um, I didn't even feel that leak. I didn't know until I went to show you guys how I put it on and saw the leak on it. I'm really grateful, so it didn't get on my pants. That was fantastic. Stoma Cloak really has been my favorite ostomy pouch cover for the last two years. I think that, you know, the way that it looks and it feels is really important, but also its functionality. It gets rid of odor, it's moisture wicking, it's comfortable, and of course, it's my first line of defense against those sneaky leaks. Make sure to check out Stoma Cloak in the link in my description or the pinned comment below and uh, I know that you're going to love them and I can't wait to continue talking about them, sharing about them, and sharing my experience with them. Thank you Stoma Cloak. Mm -hmm.